Razor Sharp Studios, it's time for the Big Dog AC Show. Big Dog AC Show, here we are, we're back. You know what, we had a fiasco on New Year's. <laughs> hey, we tried New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh. Blew it up. Oh, countdown. Oh, we're going to be live, yeah. and then live tonight, and then... It took a shit. Fuck. It just did, yeah. No audio. What the fucking a man? It was crazy, you know. For the two or three people that were listening, you need to tell us there's no <laughs> audio. Somebody needs to tell us that you can't Fuck. hear. It's like I can't hear. God you. I can't it. hear you. No, <laughs> Happy okay. New Year. Happy New, and it was a good show. We had our prosecco. Yeah, we had. Some we did stuff. a little toast. Yeah, we did. We had like not had toast, but we did a toast, and then we had a little poppers that we tried to do later. And, it was crazy. It was good. I thought we. I thought that was a good show. We had a good time. It was fun, and then we it realized it fucking fucked up. So <laughs> I'm glad that I yeah. that I checked it. Yeah. Before we actually like, oh, that was a great show. Yeah. Woo, high five, high five. Okay, moving on. No, I stopped that. So Quick. tonight, so tonight we we made an appearance at uh, Bar Sidious. Yes. Hung out with T a little bit and had a couple beers. Yep, so and we're drinking Murphy's Law. Here, Murphy's so. Law, man. We've had this before on the show. It yes. is a good beer. It's very well appreciated. And, yes. uh, man, it's just smooth. We like it. Irish so. Red Ale. So we're yeah. not going to talk about it again because we've talked about it. But yeah. it's good. If you're yes. in Barsidious, this is a good beer. If you're in Lebanon, Oregon, go buy Barsidious. Go buy Conversion. Go buy Tall Man. They're all killer, killer yes. places to go. We're lucky yeah. because when we were in California, yeah. where, where we lived in the Central Valley, yeah. there were no breweries in our town. No, you had to drive to Fresno to get the Yeah, or breweries. go somewhere else. Yeah. But we have yeah. three. Yes. We have three breweries here in our small little one-horse yeah. town, yeah, as I called a, it. <laughs> it's one one street. Yeah, main, one main street. street. <laughs> yeah, we have three breweries. So we're lucky. Three great, great people to deal with every time we go to those breweries. And, yes. Uh, they brew some good beer. So. We have a lot of good businesses here in this small town. Yeah. Um, leading into, we got new posters. We got posters. We got posters and, and a bunch of stickers. We yeah, have we the do. stickers out, but the poster basically looks like our our banner back yes. behind us if you're on YouTube, but so if it's you're, awesome. So if you're in Lebanon, Oregon, and you roll into a pub, you're probably going to see our poster, <laughs> the Big Dog AC Show. So Yes, and the Bowling Alley. Yeah, Bowling Alley hooked it up too as well. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, the tall man. But, but I have oh. an announcement. Oh, well, okay. I got an I, announcement. I have one thing I was going to say about the posters really Go good. ahead. Go ahead. Go I ahead. just want to say thank you to Gateway Imprints. Yes. Here in Lebanon. Yes. Like I said, another great business here in this Keep small local. town. Keep it local. www.gatewayimprints.com. Melissa and Cindy will hook you up. Yeah, they will. They did a really good job. Mm. You want our posters and we're going to get shirts. We're going to get all kinds of merch and get ready, guys. Well, well you talk about custom, custom, customer service. They are the best at customer service. So thank you. Yes. Thank you to that. them. Yes. It's awesome. We're going to be getting some more, like I say, more merch. I want to, I want to get hats, hats, sh more shirts, mugs, tank top. Yes. Who, all would, kinds of who shit. the fuck wouldn't want a mug of me and you on that mug? Are we gonna have not just the logo? It's gonna be me yeah. and you holding and and it's gonna be me and, and you holding a mug and <laughs> snacks in the background. Woo. Yeah, that's a, oh man, we oh, got some news about snacks. You got your little lead into Ooh, snacks now. Yeah, we got some news about snacks. We'll talk about that a little oh, later. Oh, later. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, I'm a rock and roll guy. I jump around, look at some rock and roll and these bands and everything, and I see Journey is touring. They always tour. They all tour, and uh, <clears throat> man. He is going. Uh, Neil Sean, who's kind of the guy that runs that band, I guess, is going to have the original keyboardist from Journey in the Day on that tour, Greg Raleigh. Yeah, he's going to be on there. That's, well, that's cool. cool to get some original, yes, you know, more original people. I mean, recognize that you're popular because of these guys. Yes. Yes. And so, but the lead singer is still that. Um... What's his name? I forgot his name. Yeah. He's is he Well, I don't think there's any chance that Steve Perry Steve Perry's gonna get back in there, but that yeah, would what, be what cool. What come what country? Well he he, he was he was a uh, in a cover band, journey cover band. Yeah. And they brought him on. So yeah. I think Philippines. Hey, he, Philippines. Oh, Philippines. Okay, yeah, I couldn't remember yeah. where he was from. Yeah, yeah. Where he's from. Um, but he sounds really good. Oh, he's though, awesome. Too. He hits the notes. Yeah. But Steve Perry is Steve Perry. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hanford guy. 
Hanford, Central Valley, Portuguese, California. You and Portuguese. Portuguese. And Portuguese. Yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're coming out of Hanford, California, you've got to be fucking Portuguese. <laughs> More than likely, you're. There's you're, fucking dairies everywhere. You're what somewhat. The fuck? Por- you're somewhat Portuguese if yeah. you're from that area. <laughs> when we moved, when we moved over there from the coast, you know, we went into that valley and we were like, "Fuck, Portuguese dairies." I was like, dairies, "It's my people." Dairy. Yeah, it's my people. Bang. And and we ended I was up used to it. Yeah, we ended up. You know, doing, having a great time there. Yeah, we had a great time. It was cool. Yes. It was great to go out to the uh the ranch. Yes. He calls it a ranch. He called my dad calls it the ranch. Yeah, he calls it the ranch. And my so, mom's all the ranch. The ranch make, yeah. makes fun of them. Oh, your mom. Your mom <laughs> is the queen potato, so she can do whatever she, is she queen wants. Potato. Yeah, she does. So Who is doing well. Yes. If we want to get into well. that really well, quick. We, I think we talked about it on the New Year's Eve show, but it never aired. <laughs> you know what? I can't remember now what <laughs> we talked about then and yeah. what actually aired. So, so we're just going to say she's doing awesome. Yeah, she is. She had her surgery she did. right before Christmas. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And it's amazing how very next it's day. It's like boom, boom, boom. Very next day, yeah. eat, eating a whole bunch of jello. Yeah. Like the whole thing, like literally before the surgery. Yeah. She would have two bites of a cup of Jello, and that'd yeah. be it for the yeah. day. So we, we are so happy that she's doing so much better. Yes, and yeah. I know you don't want to tell her this, but since she's not going to listen, yeah. we're going to say this. What? So one of the things my mom enjoyed before they moved up here from Schwans, Schwams, yeah, Schwams, Schwams, yeah, Schwams, Schwans. Get it right. Home delivery. I love Schwans. No, it's Schwams. I, if they want to sponsor us, I, I'm all for Schwans. I Schwams. love the whole. <laughs> Schwamms. She calls it schwams. I know. Yeah. But they're awesome. I love that delivery. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, she would always get the broccoli, uh, like the frozen broccoli or the, the broccoli cauliflower, broccoli cauliflower, carrots, like those three things she would get. So, so this so okay, go ahead. Cause so, I'm gonna talk about the broccoli. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So now that she's back, basically. She, yeah, oh yeah, she's, she's back. She's back, baby. Like she's yeah. eating food. She's yeah. asking for food. Yes. She, we got some more of the the broccoli and stuff from Schwann for her. We started ordering that stuff for her again. I swear she will eat a whole bag of that frozen stuff. I give her half. I give my dad half, and whatever. Well, not I give them some. I give one some. I give the other one some. There's still some left. She will eat the rest of what's left over. So she'll eat like almost a whole bag yeah. of that vegetable, which is amazing. But but you were driving her around. I didn't know. I took her to get her blood work. Yes, they need some blood, blood work. work. And she farted before we got <laughs> into the <laughs> she, I know. I thought it was your dad, but I've I've smelled his farts before. Oh, nice. It's, That's nice mm, that you can tell. It between was, their it's the well <laughs> shit i'm right there when they're farting i'm like damn I, okay i'll suck it up yeah i'll ew, suck it up because i because i love their daughter i'm yeah. gonna suck it up oh my god so he's farting i'm like yeah she farted and i thought good god <laughs> somebody shit their pants and i was like no nope. so then we got out of the blood work thing and we got in the car and i get go to get in the car and she farted again and i'm like Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> it was horrible. It's broccoli. It's raining like a sieve. I'm rolling the windows down. Get that out of here. I know you said you drove home with the windows Fuck down. It was yeah. raining. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, that woman, I love oh her dearly. My gosh. I love, I love my mother in law. But man, if she's eating fucking broccoli and she's farting, it is the worst. And the thing <laughs> is, you told me you said, did you have my mom? Did my mom once say, hey, I farted? I said, fuck no, she didn't say that. <laughs> she just sat there all quiet. She just sat there looking at her phone. Like a little old lady. Yeah, she's, she's you just know, like, you know, little, just farted. Little old lady yeah. sitting there. And that her... doesn't stink, does and it? And then the that, sh- doesn't stink. smell. Doesn't stink at all. I was like, fuck, that stink. And it's funny because today I was asking her, um, because they were concerned that her calcium would go too low, right, right after right. they removed the tumors and all, right, that, right. all this stuff, which it still hasn't. Because she's drinking orange juice with calcium and she's eating. Yeah. So you get a lot of the calcium and yeah. vitamin and stuff from food. Yeah, yeah. You know, the, that's and, the whole point. And the same thing you're telling me, it was what Tia was telling me about her grandma or somebody. Mm-hmm. Once I did that and got that, the calcium was too high. I'm like, really? Does that really happen? I mean, Apparently, yeah. Apparently, yeah. Fuck yeah, it does. Parathyroid. Yeah. Hell yeah, it um, does. So now she's starting to eat food. But then she said that she had a pain because uh, I'm always like, okay, are your lips tingling your tongue? Because that's low calcium. We're worried about low calcium now. 
and anything going on what's going on and she said that her stomach kind of hurt a little bit i'm like well it wasn't gas i was almost gonna say because they said <laughs> i was she almost gonna fuck. say i was almost gonna say because i heard your, your shit. she just <laughs> blew it up part, yeah. <laughs> but um she said no and i was like yeah right but she said she's okay so, <laughs> Man. so oh but thank you everybody who was concerned about yeah her. well wishes. she is thank doing you much, yeah. so 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 yeah. much it's it's amazing thank it's you, like snacks. she wasn't even sick thank you snacks thank you bill thank you everybody 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 that chimed in and said hey, everybody she's that's, doing okay. that's asked how she's doing yeah. everything thank you yes she's yeah. doing so much better but she, my dad on the other hand ooh, dementia this is, this is another deal we got to deal with which we yeah. said and i'm not going to spend a lot of time complaining about him or anything you, you but, really can't i mean it's just it's a, it's the a way thing. it is it's unfortunate yeah. that the brain does that to you yeah. after a certain I, I, he tries to blame it okay he just turned 92 right he tries yeah. to blame it on his age but my grandpa my mom's dad yeah was live longer than that and he did not have that so i it's, think it's i think not it's, the well, age but, it's but, not an age thing but your dad's brother had it yes but my then, dad's uh, brother was the youngest brother my dad's the oldest and this is the youngest and he actually i think his probably went into full-blown alzheimer's yeah. which is what my grandma had yeah it's so the, alzheimer's it, is different it just runs in the family i guess it's, so i think it, it's on both sides yeah my mom's is. Mom, my grandma on my mom's side had yeah. Alzheimer's. Yeah. So my dad, I don't know. He's like at that stage where he's oh, rock and roll kitty came in. Um, where he's he's enough to be, you know, kind of annoying where he's constantly asking and then we get into arguments and stuff because he doesn't remember and then he gets mad and, and that kind of stuff. But he can still function. Right. He still remembers to drink his drink. Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah. Oh hell yeah. He can still go to the bathroom by himself. He knows who we are. Um, he still makes food when he's hungry. He can make himself a sandwich. So it's like he's at that stage where what are you going to do? He's just in the middle. Yeah. What are you going to do? And we're just, you know, we're just waiting to see what, how he's going to be. Yeah. So I don't know. But well, anyway, so he's, he is what he is. Well, the one thing is that, <laughs> that, that I'm glad he's up here. So oh, I'm glad both of them are yeah, up here. We take care of them. Because, oh my gosh, I don't even, I don't even want to think about if they were down there by themselves. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. Um, shout out. Shout out to uh, Damar Hamlin. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, goddamn, man. What the hell happened? Wow. If anybody saw that Buffalo Bills player. <sighs> Fuck. Crazy. Got tackled. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then just, just, I mean, thank, collapsed. thank God that the medical crew figured that out on the field and he's still with us. And from what I understand, he's doing well. So, yeah. They said yeah. that he FaceTimed his uh, teammates. And everything, he's no longer on the ventilator. No, no. Um, he's doing really well. He, you know, he's 24 years old, and it's a total freak thing that it, the tackle stopped his heart. Wow! And like you said, amazing that they said that um, it must have been the the exact moment where the electrical current was yeah. going from one side to the other side to yeah. pump it. That's just rare, unbelievable, com completely yeah. rare, and yeah. it's amazing. It's it's great that he's doing so well now much love to him and his family and uh you know nfl's kind of shaking and what are we going to do uh you know what i don't know i'm not going to chime in we're not going to chime in because we really don't know what they should do it's not our decision or we're not going to well, impact any of that but uh you know what thank god that young man is now he's breathing on his own yeah he's doing his own thing thank I, god i will that. say that i know it's not our decision or anything but yeah. i'm glad that they did not try to make the teams play yeah oh after yeah. that oh five minute five minute break and then get back out there it's no, like no fuck that. that kid basically fucking died no. on the field no 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 i'm talking about the games that are coming up oh yeah so, the, well yeah. yeah the games yeah whatever yeah. but you know i'm glad they didn't make them play no, at the time, and can't make both, them play. Both teams came together and said, "No, we can't do this." Well, like Booger, and Booger so was, was on ESPN. Booger's like, "You know, we're done. We're not. 
go to something else. Yeah. Go to something else. Basically, why? Yeah. Oh, and that was whole. That whole thing was ridiculous. They yeah. kept making them talk about the same thing, and oh, this has never happened, and oh, everyone's heart goes out, and oh, this is. It's like yes, we so know. So just th- stop and and play something else. So do you think the ESPN higher ups are like just run the commercials, run the commercials? Because you've been in traffic, you radio traffic. You're the one that was scheduling those things and running those things. So you've been in that. So you do you think that the higher ups were like just run the commercials, keep talking, keep talking? Well, they could have been that way, but also being in trap if something fucks up during a lot a football game or something, right? And you can't make it up that time, then you cram it in the next time. Right. I'm sure there were plenty of other times they could have crammed in some commercials, given given them extra. So know, basically, extra uh, people were talking those higher ups down. Look, look. No, we don't have to run these because there are assholes in suits. Yeah. That all they care about is revenue and they want that money. Well, and I'm going it, to, I'm going to assume, I'm just going to assume that because this was like a major, like completely like what? What? Threw everybody what? off and nobody fucking knew. And it probably took them yeah. 30 minutes to get a, a hold of everybody. Yeah, because not everyone's watching that game from ESPN. Well, when I saw when I saw um, um, quarterback for uh, the Bills, mm-hmm. when I saw him, uh, Josh, 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 grabbing his face, going, "What the hell?" Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Whoa!" Stephon Diggs was crying, holding yeah. his face. Come on, man. Oh yeah. NFL's like, we'll stumble in here and figure this out. I th- yeah. Fuckers. I think they just didn't know. I think it was obviously a complete shock to everybody and it took them you know 15 what 15 20 minutes to figure out well we need to well, just they, stop and do something else. And, and they say that's never happened before but it has uh, uh years ago somebody else died on the field and it just they it you know come on come on i hope well what i hope happens through this is that we recognize and they do that this is a rough sport. Yeah. And anything can happen at any time. Yeah. And uh, NFL, you need to wake up and realize you need to be ready for that. Well, yeah, they should be ready now. Ready. They should know. Because oh, they will anything, be. Anything yeah. can happen. People break their legs all the time. Look what happened to Alex Smith, man. Yeah. Fucked him up. His, and he yeah. still played. He still came back and played. He, yeah. Yeah. And so... Yeah. You know, anything can happen. They have to have they have to be prepared. So I think the the 15, 20 minutes where they were still rambling on and stuff, I think they didn't know what to what to do. Well, Joe Buck, and Joe I Buck, Joe was, Buck was the is the guy on ESPN now. Him and, and uh Troy. Troy. And Joe Buck's like, well, you know, we'll just, just go away. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Well, yeah, what are they supposed <laughs> to do? They keep talking about the same shit, and it's like we all saw it, we all know. We need a cough button for Big Dog. Um, so it, it took them a while to figure it out. So it, there you go. Ultimately, yeah. they finally went away and they called the game and then yeah. that was it. So we were like, "Yeah, thank you. Just take care of that kid out take there care of him, and yeah. just yep. just be good. Yeah, here's to uh, he's doing Demar. good. So, yes. Yes. So happy that he's doing well. Yeah, um, get better. Yes. And, and you know what? Come on the show. Yeah. We'd love to talk to you about that stuff. That'd be awesome. I'm sure he's going to have a lot of interviews after this. I think he will. And stuff. Yep. And who knows if he's going to play? I'm assuming. Well, the doctor he'll said probably play the doctor next said year. the doctor said he did. They don't know if he's going to play or not. Ever, ever, yeah. ever. Nope. He's definitely not going to play this year. The, or, no, I mean, the, yeah, the end yeah, of the yeah, season. Yeah. But maybe yeah. next year, next Crazy season, not. he'll play. Crazy. He's 24. He's, you know, if he can go out there, you're not going to stop him. I mean, if he no. can make it out there, I, I bet you next season. But that's just one of those rare things. That's the thing. Just how do, happened how do you out of nowhere. For that? Well, you yeah. know, now they'll be prepared for that. But as a player. Yeah. Well, you don't know. No. So like the one that made the tackle, uh, Josh Allen, in one of his um, interviews, yeah. you know, press conferences, yeah. he said nothing against him. He did not do anything wrong. It was just one of those freak things. Don't don't put any blame on him. And hopefully he doesn't feel bad about it because it was not it was a clean hit. It was not his fault. It's just one of those things. It was just a freak, freak Crazy fucking shit. thing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, 
but we're glad he's doing good. He's doing well. He's go, doing well. Go Bills. Um, we're going to jump into something that, you know, uh, we talk about once in a while. Ah, uh, man, our friend to the show, Pete Davis. Oh, yes. He's our, he's our friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, we speak so highly of him. Every you know, time we talk about him. Our buddy that sits on the couch with <laughs> us every night. <laughs> yeah. And hangs out with us every night. Yeah. He's our pal. He's he's great. He, he's awesome. We love him. So Not. we decided to see if we could guess who his next three victims are. <laughs> um, to be in a relationship yeah, with him. Yeah. I mean, he is a, he's actually a, a kickback kind of relationship you, you guy. You said that he was like a rebound a rebound guy. guy. And that's who he's been, Kim. Uh, I don't, you know, he's had a ton of those and things. He, Kate Beckinsale, I don't know if she was a rebound, but he's had a lot of, he's had a lot of rebounds, lot you know, of, I don't blame him. I, I don't blame him at all for hitting all that stuff, but, but that's all he is. I mean, maybe one day his mother will come to him and say, dude, you need to chill out, settle down, have some babies. Well, I don't know if he still lives in his mother's house or his house that he owns, but it's something about. He lives in the basement with his mom. Like he, she lives upstairs. He lives in the basement. And I don't know. Okay. Kitties. Yeah. Kitties. Um, I think it's something like he, he owns a house and then she lives there and he's in the basement. Whatever. I, so, don't, I don't know. Whatever. We don't really give a shit where I he don't, lives. I don't really care. <laughs> but we are picking the next three. We are picking the next three for this guy. I mean, I don't know where he's going to land. I have no idea what he's going to do. I have no idea, but I can see yeah. I can see the, some of the stuff he was doing. Well, I can see it. I don't blame him for being with these women. I just wonder what the fuck these women are thinking. It's a rebound. Oh, fuck no, that's but all why, it is. But why him? I don't get it. Well, you, that's what I don't. You're understand. not attracted to him. No, I'm not. not. So that's no, why you don't get it. <laughs> I guess. Kitties. Yeah, you, you know, you're not getting you're not so getting. So how that. does she look? Is she in the camera? Can you see? She is huge. <laughs> in the Good girl. Jeez. She's all I don't care. She's rock walk. and roll kitty. Screw it around. What are you doing? Oh, man. If anybody wants to check out our YouTube uh yeah. video, uh yeah. there she is. She's right wandering around wandering yeah, she's around. Sitting over there. Okay, so you go with your three because I couldn't even <clears throat> choose just three. I actually have five. I got three. Okay. I'm going to do my third one okay. right here. Go ahead. My third one. Okay. Go. Ben Affleck's ex, Dia, what's her name? Uh, Jennifer Dia, Garner? No, Dia Thomas or Dia. Oh, I don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That one. Okay. Because he hasn't tapped that yet. So I'm thinking that one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really know who that is. So well, you I'm don't, not going to comment. You don't know who the Bond girl, the new Bond girl? Do no, do you Thomas or whatever? No, man. I'm sorry. I yeah, you're stuck back I in back <laughs> in Raidley, 1995. Yeah. yeah. I got okay, it. who's your other one? No, who's your one? Give well, me I got your, five. Give me your third. And they're not in like any order. No, I'm gonna do all five because I wrote them down. Give me, I give me your five. Okay, Good. one of them, no yes. particular order. Yeah. Uh, he was with Kim Kardashian, right? Yes. Okay, so yeah. I say Ken Kendall Jenner. Oh, you know Half what? Sister. Mm -hmm. You know what? I totally agree with you on that. Because uh -huh. he likes him young and stupid. So <laughs> he's definitely. He's, he's and he's all, already kind of been in the family a little he's bit. He's been so. in the house. He's, yeah. he's, he's been smelling the shit. In so there. he knows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because they all stand around and look at each other. Because they, they're, they're not no, fucking. Ew. They're not smart enough to do anything else. Ew. So. Okay. Uh, my number two. Okay. My number two. Mm -hmm. Sandra Bullock. I hope not. It's, but uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I mean, come I hope on. Not. I mean, I hope it, she's smart. I smarter hope she it. understands that she does not have to fuck this guy. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I hope she doesn't go. Oh with that my goodness! Guy. I mean, I don't know. Okay. I have no idea. So one of my five, yes, is Tony Collette. Tony, who the fuck is that? She was in Hereditary. Oh, it's a she, girl? It's yes, a girl? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. She's been a bunch of stuff. Oh, okay. But oh, she, yeah, yeah. She I've just heard, recently, yeah, yeah. I think, got divorced from someone, her husband from 19, of 19 years. Yeah. And she's just, to me, she just seems like one of those Kate Beckinsale people that's like just slightly to, older. Know, let me get some just cock. To get let, me get, let me get some cock. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of what I think yeah, with that one. Yeah. And then 
Go ahead. You got okay. a couple more than I got me. A couple more. I got so, I, my number one. It's going to stun people. So is it? Okay. Ahead. So yeah. here's another one. Yeah. Olivia Jade Giannulli. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the daughter. Yeah. You know, with her parents paid to get her into Stanford yeah, yeah. or whatever. So you think he's going to be fucking that? Yes. Because yes. she's a YouTube person. Yeah. And she's young and yes. stupid. Dumb. And I really think that, you know, it's possible. Yeah. I, I had a couple, so. but I had a couple more before my number one. Okay. And the uh, uh, was it Dixie and the other one? What's the other one? The sister Dixie. Dixie. Uh, yeah. The uh, uh, damn it. What's the name of them? They're like a big like uh, TikTok or whatever it is. Oh. Pfft, Dixie and Amayo or whatever her name is or Dixie. I don't know. Yeah, Dixie. Hold on. Let me look. I'm going to look, look on the phone. I'm going to look it up <laughs> so I can get it right. I don't know. Yeah. Let me, the only ahead. TikTok stars I know is us. Yeah. I just follow random people on there. Oh, Dixie Diameo. Okay. How do I know that Diameo name? Because she's they're big. Her and her sister Dixie or her sister or whatever or Charlie are big on the internet. Mm. So I'm thinking... Pete's mm-hmm. kind of zeroing in on that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's gonna fucking sling his cock into that. So. I think so. Yeah, pretty I think close. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do you I got? got? I got two more. Okay, go ahead. Number two. I got Giselle Bunkin. What? Brady? No. <laughs> no. I think after Tommy, after they break up, are completely done. Yeah. You might see uh, Pete, mm-hmm. Petey. Pete going in there Pete, and trying to be around. get a little sniff and go. He might. Get a little you sniff, never know. sniff. A little you sniff. know, Tommy's with somebody else already, supposedly, oh, yeah. which All is right. fucking ridiculous. Who cares? But, but um, you know, Giselle. Although yeah. I don't know if she put up with Pete's shit. So that's the thing. She might not. She might be a little more hardcore. All she wants to do is get fucked. And that's all she cares about. You don't know that at that time. She she's well, a, as a no rebound, re- maybe. I don't know. Yeah, there's no relationship in there. Mm-mm. Yeah, he's Mm-mm. a good, he's a good rebound. He's a good That's rebound. what you say, because yeah. you've also said he has a horse stick, which I don't know. That's what Ariana Grande uh, said. She dodged, on. she dodged a bullet with that Yeah, guy. she's a big Fuck. bullet. A big old bullet. And he wasn't even that popular with the ladies till he no. dated her. Yeah, but they all say, oh, he's and so then they, cool. And he's then great. they he's left. He's great and cool. No, yeah. I, don't, I just don't see it. I don't well, see it. Okay, what, your last one? What you got? My last one is Giselle. That's what was that it was, really? That was my last was one. It? Yeah, because <laughs> because he will swoop onto that. Yep, and pound that shit. Yep, and then they'll be done. So it'll yeah, be over. probably. Well, okay. My yeah. last one that's on my What's list. What's your last one? You'll never guess. Give me a hint. You will never G- guess. Give me a hint. Okay. Well, if I give you this hint, you'll know. We saw her originally on um, a talk show, and she used to live in a bus with her oh, boyfriend at the time, oh, fiance at the time. Oh, that's the bitch that just left the fucking bitch. Yep, Olivia Wilde. Yes, yeah, yeah. Her and Harry just broke up after Harry. her leaving Sudeikis. Come on. Well, oh, I, I still, I, I'm sure. It's got something to do with Harry being in this new police, my policeman movie where he's gay. Yes. I'm telling you, that's I think he's going to be part he of the was problem. probably gay before he was well, in the movie. I'm sure he's probably, he's probably bi, you know, well, he's probably bi, which is nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. You know what? The, I, I, what I think it is, is when uh, Olivia left uh, Sudeikis, mm-hmm. jumped into this thing with what's his name. Mm-hmm. He was already there. He was already kinky. She was trying to be like, oh, I'm going to, I got maybe, this. Well, maybe he was a rebound he, for her or something and, different. Yeah, yeah. And she, he's like, dude, I've already done this. So. And so now yeah. after a couple yeah. of years, less than two years, they said, go. of dating, now he's probably doing something else somewhere. Yeah. Go lick your wounds there, Olivia Wilde. And You're done. I don't know. You're done. You might see her with Oh, Pete, Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson is going to be in there. Hey, I want to yeah. block. I got this. I'm coming in. He's just. I'm going <laughs> to. I'm gonna square that up for you. Oh my gosh! Yeah. yeah. So, well, those those were my five, and you're in your three. I had three. Four. Yeah. <laughs> well, I had three, and you wanted five. So, so, well, I was trying to just do three, but as I was scrolling from all the breakups, I was like, "Oh no, I can see him with this one. I oh, can see him with yeah. this one." He's, there were so many, I had to stop at five because oh, there yeah. were more I could see. I mean, him he's trying to be he's, with. he's 
he's worse than Scott Disick. Scott Disick is like fucking all these 19 year olds. Well, he, and shit. yeah, Scott Disick waits what? till they turn 18 what? and then pounces. Bang, yeah, yeah. A couple yeah. of fucking corn balls, man. No doubt yeah. about it. But good luck to them in their career. <laughs> yeah, good luck. You think good luck? Gross. They're yeah. probably stand up guys. Yeah, I think they should. Good. I think they should listen to the show. <laughs> they're probably good. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Hey, this is Big Dog and AC from the Big Dog and AC Show podcast. We talk rock and roll and don't forget horror movies. You can find us anywhere you get your podcasts. There's craziness and debauchery and no politics. Join the podcast now. Warning, explicit content. Big Dog AC Show, we're back. We're hanging out a little bit. We had to take a bathroom break, kind of hang. (laughs) I've taken off my hat because I don't know how you guys wear hats all the time. Yeah, we do. It just... Yeah. It's itchy. It's just bothering me. So now yeah. it's gone. Yeah. So now I feel free. AC is free. I'm free. She is free. I feel free yeah. now. If I took my bra off, I'd feel even more. Oh free yeah, they'd be, they'd be on the table. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's like okay. Speaking of boobs, boobs. My mom. Come on. Here's the deal. My mother. I know, but let me say oh, this first. Let, let right me say now. this first. What? I mean, as as a guy. Uh-huh. As a dog, as a pig, they, whatever they call us. Uh, we like okay. boobs. We like boobs. I like boobs, too. I just think they're great. Yeah, I do, too. I think it's always been that way. I me. like my boobs. Yes. I appreciate nice boobs. Yes. On women. Yes. I'm, uh, yeah. Yes. I'm 100% yes. for boobs. But your mom. But my mother yeah. had breast cancer about yes. 10 years ago. Yes, yeah, she did. On and she's, oh, by the way, she's still alive and kicking. Well, yes. Yeah. Alive and kicking enough to have a parathyroid problem, to have yeah. another surgery. And complain. <laughs> and now she's really doing good. <laughs> and, and complain about what she orders online. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Yeah. The queen no, potato. So she had a mastectomy on the left side. Not both. Because she only had cancer on one side. So she's like, I'm just going to do this one side. Mom, you might want to. Oh, I'm going to just do that. Okay. So just do that one side. That's That's fine. Yeah. She has a reconstructive surgery. Which means that they they have to stretch the skin out after they cut the boob off, um, and then put the the saline bag so in the fake boob. Yeah, basically they're just re- oh, yeah. rebuilding. Yeah. it, you know. Yeah. So and then they gave the other the right one her natural one a lift boob lift because it had to match the other one. <laughs> so now ten years later, yeah, losing I don't know how many pounds after not eating for two months. Yes, the one the natural one. Looks like a little shrivel up, <laughs> little shrivel up water balloon. Like after it's already been stretched, and now all the water's gone. <laughs> and she's getting mad. She's all, "Why does the fake what? the fake one? What the fuck? Because of course the fake one. I'm still sexy. Yeah. Why is this shit? Well, not of course working out? the fake one yeah. still looks like a grapefruit, right? Because it's still a ball. Yeah. And she's like, uh, and she's looking at it. She's all, I don't know. And she thinks it's because she hit. She hit the side of it one time or something. Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. mom, that's got nothing to it's a fake boob. <laughs> it's, fa- it's fake. Your right oh. one's natural. If you mm. had the other one, Damn. if you had the left one like natural, it looked like the right one. Well, here's the deal. It's, na- it's <clears throat> so that's a constant thing. For her to get that her. done, for her to get that done, because she had breast cancer, mm-hmm. they took it all out. Yeah. Whatever she needs. We can, we well, just I get know, it but we it's like, it I told her, yeah. we'll just take out the, the implant then. Yeah. And then you'll have two little deflated right. balloons or else get the other one fixed. And she'll, no, I think it's, it's, it's not because you hit it because look, I know someone. Yeah. My sister yes. who had fake boobs that I, I don't know if I should name names because no, but she hugged, when she hugged me, your sister hugged me one time and almost poked my ass out. Well, if she ever listens yeah. to the show, which she won't No. Um, I'll feel, well, whatever. I don't care. No, I talk about won't. shit about myself too. So it's yeah. not like, it's yeah, just, you know it's not just me. It's a podcast. Or or just go. Anyways. You're good. Um, she, one of them got popped when she had a mammogram. And so, so they she pop woke, it through the skin. She w- Well, if you ever, you won't know, but if you, when you have a mammogram, right. They squish your boob. I know in the they machine. I know it. that. And, yeah. In the machine. So, so they, did they pop that? They squished it too hard because I don't know if it's the way, the kind of um, boob job she had or yeah. she didn't tell them or they didn't know or some mis- something happened to where they squished it. Ooh. 
and she didn't know until the next day yeah. that it popped because it was basically flat and the other one was still normal. <laughs> Welcome to the family. So like all, yeah. all of the saline yeah. went out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I know that that can happen. So telling mom when you hit it, if you popped it, it would be flat. Yes. It would not still look like that. So your mom is like one of the old ladies on SpongeBob. Everything's just... You know, yeah. and if you had told me even last year yeah, that I would be helping my mom yeah. take a shower. Yes. Go to the bathroom. Yes. When she needs, she doesn't need it now, but when she needed that, need it then, um, I would have said no fucking way. Well, but it's like, you do what you got to do. And so now I've seen this woman naked so many no, times and I'm like, don't go there. You need to eat woman. Don't go there. Her ribs are like the back rib, rib, rib. It's like, you need to fucking eat. So she's starting to eat a lot, yes. which we talked about. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier. So we're very happy about that. But it was just like, talking about boobs. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like, mom, it's a fake boob. It's yes. not going to look like you because <laughs> she's looking at this other one like it's sad. It's like, that is your real yeah. boob. That yes. is the that, that is what it would look like. That's it. <laughs> that's yeah. what it would look like. Yeah. But in the meantime, I appreciate my boobs. Yes, I do too. Um, yeah. I do not have breast cancer in them, fortunately. I had an adenoma, so surgery. They took out a walnut-sized um, mass that was in there. Yeah. Benign, fortunately. And so I have kept my boobs. Yeah, it's so great. I feel it, okay about that. You, it's great. I'm good. But we are happy they're here. Oh, yeah. I know. They're going to be a lot of stories on the show. I keep telling myself I'm happy yeah. they're here. I'm happy they're here. So <laughs> you have a movie review. I do. And and this movie that you watched today, yes. I kind of heard the shit going on in there. And I'm like, whoa, that's pretty crazy. Yeah. I thought you'd come out of that studio, out of the theater going, man, that was badass you came out going eh that was pg-13 it was yeah <laughs> it was yeah so do we want to talk about that just or go. do you want to talk about your your news from oh, the snacks snacks do you want to talk about that okay we'll get snacks right here here it is well okay he's coming next week <gasps> that's the big phew, he's, bombshell. Gonna, he's gonna be in the studio in studio next here week. at this table sitting there with us uh, yes here. next week yes so get ready for it's that it's been a long time and i have an itinerary yes you have it go so, ahead go ahead so we're gonna say this is subject to change but yes. if anyone wants to try to follow us around <laughs> yeah good me, luck so ac big dog and snacks yes we'll be at these locations probably on the days that i'm gonna say unless something changes and i don't know but it's <laughs> subject to change but this is the plan <laughs> Okay. So hey, and if anyone finds us there, that'd be awesome. We'll give you a sticker. sticker. We got we got stickers. We have stickers. We'll give you a sticker. Yeah. So if anybody finds us at these locations where we're talking about, then yeah, we got some shit. We'll yes. give you a sticker. There we will. Yes. And uh if you want to wait, we can give you another shirt. We're getting or a done. poster. We're gonna get them done. Yeah. So, yeah. So okay, so on Tuesday, because snacks will be here Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Early afternoon. But we're not doing a show with him until the weekend. Well, right. So, but this yeah. is just our itinerary for us to go and, and show him around and and do activities. Okay. So right. this is this is the thing. Okay. So Tuesday night, we are planning on being at Tall Man. Yes. For trivia night. Yes. And our dinner. See, I wrote the day and I wrote dinner and activity. So we will be eating from the food trucks. She 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 took care of the activities. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We'll be eating at the food trucks. And then we will do trivia night at Tall Man, which will be awesome because they put up our poster. So we're gonna really like try to do big dog AC cool. yeah, fuck yeah, team. Man. That's right. For we're, trivia. We're all into this together. Yes. Yeah. So Wednesday night, yeah. we're going to be probably in Albany. At the movie theater there. Yes. Puss and, and Boots. And we want to watch Puss and Boots. Puss and Boots. Last Life or Last Wish or whatever it's called. I don't care. We got a yes, puss. We, we got a puss. That. And so I'm hoping we either go to Red Robin or Sizzler. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Yeah. Yes. Red Robin's awesome, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We love Red Robin. Best burgers. Never, yeah. ever had a bad burger there. Never. Never. Ever. 
Although we had a good, so good, we had a good burger from Rock Cafe today. Cafe Rock uh, here yeah, in Cafe, Lebanon. Oh fuck yeah, it was which good. we will try to do something with them later yes. on in the show because they're really good. Yeah, they're good. Um, yeah. Okay, and then Thursday night, because I don't, I don't know. I kind of mentioned it about our posters. Uh, Lynn Lane's Bowling Alley. Yes. Here in town. Yes. They they have one of our posters. Hopefully they're going to put it up. They put it up. So we're going to eat there because they're supposed to have really good food there. Well, this, they're talking the best burgers ever. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to go bowling. Bowling. We are going to bowl there, which we have not. That? All three of us have not bowled together in forever. Twenty years. For a long time, it's been less than twenty. Years. No, twenty years. It's been we, less than twenty. We were, Selena, we we're at the Salinas Bowling Alley when he was like seven or eight. Nine, ten. No, we like had that. to have bowled since then. No, no, we haven't bowled since then. We don't do. Well, the he bowl. should be better than by now. If it yeah, was, he's he's seven. Should. Yes, he should. <laughs> so. so we're gonna go to Lynn Lane's here in Lebanon and go bowling. That is the plan on Thursday, unless they have league, which I'm not sure. So that might switch with Wednesday. I'm not and sure. And Friday night we are going to do escape escape room yeah. in Albany. Yes, Enigma escape yeah. room. And I don't know where we're going to have dinner. So maybe we'll either have dinner here. Maybe if we do Red Robin one night, we'll do Sizzler the other night. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't just, know. I just think that we're going to have some fun with snacks is up here. But and then Saturday night, we are going to put a show together, which will be posted on Mon or Sunday or Monday. Yeah. So, so Saturday night on yeah. the itinerary. Yes. Podcast. Yes. Dinner snack said he wanted to make food. Some we're yeah. gonna do snacks and things like yeah. he did last time. That one time he was here. Yeah. So we'll do that. Yeah, we're looking and forward. And then Sunday he goes home. We're looking forward to him coming. So Can't wait till he gets here. That's gonna be awesome. And we're yeah. gonna try to post pictures and maybe do some reels and live shit from wherever we're at. And and hopefully. Hopefully we do good at trivia night and hopefully we do good in bowling and I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But we're gonna post some shit and like try to you know, it'll, it's yeah. gonna be fun. It's AC's movie review. Big dog AC show, it is time for the movie review. Right. Two thousand twenty three, right. the first one, AC is gonna hit you with this movie review. Oh my god. And and I I heard some of that stuff coming out of the studio. Man, it's crazy. Oh, and you came out. Oh, it's ever it's PG. I'm like, what the fuck? It looked it just sounded wild in there, man. Yeah, well, it sounded wild. Yeah. So <laughs> wasn't it wild? I mean, no, it was not. So okay, here's my movie review. Okay. The movie I watched was called The Invitation from 2022 yeah yeah it was pg-13 which i was hesitant to watch it because of pg-13 but why if we why because that means they don't show anything there's no gore there's no graphic that's just stupid pg-13 is made for like a, a a teen girl with her little fantasies and, so, and so i can Nick, see if so i Nick, was 13 nickelodeon should have been on nickelodeon runs a pg-13 well, shit yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They would. Yeah, they would. This had a little extra beyond um Nickelodeon. Yeah. But uh no. No. Nah. For a forty something year old woman to watch this was like not not the same so thing you're, as, you're... as say my sixteen year old niece. How about yeah. that? So you're aging yourself. I am. I don't care. I <laughs> am dog AC show. Like no AC's aging well, herself. She's fifteen, almost yeah. sixteen. But oh, my niece no. might have a different take on it than me. How about you, that? You know what? Those what? girl those girls are awesome so, i know they are awesome i know they are yeah they are um Fuck so anyways yeah. so i watched this movie because in our um un unpublished live show oh this this was one of the new movies from that was 20 a mess this was one of the new movies on 2022 that was released that was supposed to be a big deal and it's supposed to be horror and blah 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 yeah so i'm like okay well obviously we didn't do it on that show <laughs> so i watched it today to see, because I was going to watch it anyway sometime, just because it seemed like it was going to be okay. Yeah. So yeah. anyways, The Invitation, PG-13. Right. From 2022. This is basically, okay, in the beginning. Um. Okay, should I do a synopsis? Let's do a synopsis. Do a synopsis. Really quick. This is about <laughs> a girl who both her parents have passed away. 
she is living in New York trying to become a sculptor mm-hmm. or yeah, be an artist, whatever. Right. Um, but taking side jobs is like um working for catering, you know, waiter, blah blah blah, what this kind of thing. So this the last job she did, it was for this company that did DNA testing. So like like now would be ancestry.com or you know D- what is it 23 and me or something like that right 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 so it was a it was a company like that so they they took a swag bag so she had the uh, DNA test so she did it and she gets messaged by a long lost cousin i guess from england london england whatever well that's and he a, messages know, her man england always has the vampires Always, always. <laughs> I didn't say it was vampires. No, I did because that's where it's going. You did say- <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Spoiler: You're not supposed to say that yet. But uh, no, sorry. I'm building up to it. Okay, so then this long lost cousin, you know, who actually I guess was bloodline kind of thing, right? Messages her, yeah, and wants to meet her. He says he's in New York from London, and wants to meet her. Yeah, like okay, cool. You can so all see where a- this is going. Yes, and yeah. she's she's lonely. She doesn't have any family anymore. Don't uh, leave your very, doors unlocked. She's very, <laughs> you know, she's searching for someone to be a family. You know, she's yeah. got her friends. And I stuff, did that. But- I did that twenty okay. years ago. Okay, she's got her friends and stuff, but she's trying to. You know, she's just looking for somebody anyway. So she meets the guy and then he says, oh, this is going to be the wedding of the century. Yeah, this is this. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. We want you to come. Yes. So, OK, after some convincing, she ends up going. He gets her flight first class, blah, blah, blah. She goes to Lo- to England wherever, yes. and the um the Lord of the Manor is very attractive and they the Lord, of course have a Lord of the man. Yes, they have like some sort is of Is he connection. good looking? Yes. Oh damn, come on. He is good looking. No. And um, so then they, you know, uh get along, whatever. <laughs> AC, whatever. AC. So in the beginning, but hold on. In the beginning of this movie, I really had thoughts of like them making it a Meghan Markle joining the royal family where she I I swear, this is what I thought because it, it was really like she was an American kind of joining into this royal kind of family. Not might not have been royal, but it was a different, you know, British lordship type thing. Well, you know, different I, kind of for some reason family I, from, kind of thing. For some reason we'll never know the truth about any of that. No. And I don't want to talk about it. Up. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just saying it's kind of th- political. Those are the so. vibes I was kind of getting from the beginning. Yeah. That's the vibe I was getting. Yeah. For a long time. And then eventually, eventually, eventually. So eventually. it was really kind of slow in yes. the beginning. Yeah. And then, eventually, man, there was a lot of sound effects because it was blasting out. Well, theater. that was towards the end. Towards yeah. the end, it really started picking up. But then it, it turned out, spoiler alert, anyone who's seen Van Helsing from, was it 90s, early 2000s, yeah, with right? The, what's his name? Okay. Yeah. When they had uh, the vampire in that. Yeah. He had three three brides right You're right three he brides. did yeah he did yeah so it's the same kind of thing as that so the handsome lord that she ends up like being all ooh, you know they have sex and all that kind of shit damn um he ends up being the vampire and he has been ruling these three prominent families right in europe oh shit so each family has give basically given their daughter a daughter of the family to marry him as a bride so he needed a third bride because the one family the the bride in the beginning of the movie didn't want to do this anymore didn't want to be a vampire didn't want to do any of that shit so and then all the other family members were all male so they were looking for a female and so then that just so happens to be this woman that's from new york that did the DNA test. So they brought her over. She's like the only female descendant. And so then they're trying to marry her off with this vampire. Right. Right. So then just all hell breaks loose, of course, like usual. Right. <laughs> but what... it's so cheap. It's not, it's, it's a story. It's a different telling of like the Van Helsing thing with the vamp Dracula with the three brides. Right. So with the different families and stuff. Mm-hmm. So um, 
But in my thought, when she's doing this, he's telling her she already kind of fell in love with the guy before she knew he was a vampire. So really, what's the difference? I know. You to know, me. When we fell in love, you didn't even know I was a vampire. I know. So really, what's the difference? I don't understand. <laughs> because she doesn't have any family at home. She doesn't have any family at home. No. Why not just go over there? So. Be so a, a, a lady or whatever. So Be the, fucking rich beyond your wildest dream. I know, but I'm trying to talk. Hold on. Be uh, rich. Have all the power. Do everything. And all you got to do is drink some blood. What's the fucking problem? Here. The, girl, the old lady that's 102 over there in the corner of the thing where your parents are at. Mm-hmm. That's a vampire. She's a vampire. No. Hell yeah, she is. No, she's not. She's yeah, a nice, yeah. She's a nice little old lady. Yeah, I know, but she'll. Okay, uh, so you had nothing that you had nothing it. to say about this movie. So, okay. <laughs> but really, I don't understand. Just do it. I maybe you know, if I was in my twenties and I had like way way better morals and shit. I'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to do it. In your 20s, you but, had no morals. But in my 40s, I'm like, what? Just fucking do it. You don't have any family to, to talk about anymore. You know, So no just go, go bone the guy. Let him out. Go it. bone the guy. Live off the money. What is the fucking problem? So this was so <laughs> stupid. So this is why it's a PG-13 movie. Yes. So when yes. they get to her wedding, because they try to marry them off. And yes. Then that, and then she's oh no, you know, shit, blah, 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 blah. She pretends she's going to do it. And you can see right off the bat, this was so predictable. Once you figured out who was what and that this, he needed his three brides and blah, blah, blah. I kind of knew that this was a vampire movie from the beginning, but right. I didn't know how it was going to be. And then when it turns out it's him with the three brides and like, okay, so then this one, and then she's very defiant and she's like, ah, and so then at the end of the movie, after all this stuff and after she wipes out all the people, then she brings her friend from New York to London and then they go after the cousin that brought her. And so then they're, I don't know, are they, they're not vampire hunters because he's not a vampire. He's just one of the family members. So like the, the, the prominent families, they're not vampires at all. They just donate one of their daughters to marry him the vampire and then he just protects everybody so they're gonna go kill this guy who's not even a vampire just normal person because he was with the daughter well because he brought the he brought her in because he was the long lost cousin thank of you the family. i figured that out like so, 10 minutes ago so yeah well okay anyway so that was the end of the movie yeah so it was not that big of a deal and it was pg-13 so like what do you expect so one to five beers I'm giving it a two you never give I anything a two. Nothing. There's not been one thing you've given a two. You can do look I at give two. You do, do not do two. It's two out of five, so it's like bad. A four would be you've good. You've never done a two. I guarantee I'm you that. Sure I've given we can go back and listen to all the shows. I guarantee you you've never done a two. You did a one and a half, you did a four, and that was it. No, I'm pretty sure I've given two. And this is a mm. two. Yeah. Because it wasn't, for one, it was not a horror, so that's bullshit. It was not one of the top horror movies that was really bullshit. <laughs> PG-13. Yeah. So you got to expect some of that, but no. No, no. it was stupid. I two, did not I did not like it. Two beers? Two out of five sucked. Yeah. It sucked. Watch it at your own peril. Big Dog AC Show. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Uh AC's movie review, really cool. Yeah, don't don't watch the movie. Yeah, I know, but you if you, you did, but you when you watched it, were you like watching it? I was in the in the beginning. I was bored and I was waiting for something to happen, and then once it happens, then it's like okay, too late. But then I, I'm like, you're stupid. Just fucking be a yeah. vampire. What's yeah. the big deal? Yeah, I don't I don't get that. Yeah, I don't get it. I never have, and I probably won't. Ever. Well, we got a new vampire coming. Snack. Nicholas Cage. Oh, He's oh, gonna be this <laughs> badass like, motherfucker. I, yeah, yeah. Nicholas Cage. He yeah. just does whatever he wants yeah. now. <laughs> He's gonna be a vampire now. I think so. it's called Renfield. Renfield. And that will be very interesting. It's interesting. not gonna be yeah. scary, but it's yeah. gonna be very snacks. Gonna be snacks is, weird. Snacks is a vampire. It's gonna be. Snacks. I didn't know where. I didn't know where you were going with yeah. that. Thank I you, didn't know. Thank you for listening. Adopt don't shop. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. <laughs> that's what I say all that's, the time. Well, now. you that's what we did. Rock and roll kitty adopt. Yeah, that's so. our new thing, adopt on job. Yes. Follow us on show on all of our social media. Yes. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because yes. sometimes the video and audio actually work. Yeah, it does. And then you can actually watch us. Yes, and stuff. you can. And then share us with everybody. Yes. And come on, let's let's build the big dog and AC, AC show. show family. That's right. Come on now, people. Come on.